Hi, my name is Willix, and this is an updated version of Episode 1. Due to popular demand, I'm going to be redoing the episodes before 1.7, since so much has changed in the pack. The Cazador Sniper made the recipes for the most powerful items more difficult and rebalanced how much some of the power sources were buffed, making the pack more challenging. My series has a lot of emphasis on how to advance quickly past the challenges, and the best ways to accomplish this has changed dramatically. Don't worry, for those of you who have already seen my earlier episodes, there will be plenty of new content with enough different ways of doing things to make it interesting. Now for those of you that are new to Project Ozone and are wondering if this is the right pack for you, if you like the idea of a skyblock but don't like how grindy other skyblocks can be, the pack developer has gone out of his way to reduce the grind as much as he can. If you love tech mods more than magic mods, then you found the right pack. Especially if you want to build yourself up to being very powerful, but have to overcome harder than usual challenges to get there. And you get that real sense of accomplishment from this pack. So that's some of the basics on it. Now, let's get started on this. First off, uh, I've got a couple of commands on the sign in front of me here. First thing they want you to do is change the game mode. I think I've already done it, but I'll do it for you now. Game mode S for survival. And then it wants you to uh, change the starting inventory. So notice uh, I've got a bunch of things on my bar there. And it's all going to be replaced with what he thinks I should have. Start in INV for inventory load. It's going to replace all that with just these these few things here. Uh, if I drop some of those diamonds on the ground, I could pick them back up later, but that'd be cheating. Okay, so um, we can get rid of that sign. Oh couple other things. I now have a new computer and uh, I'm doing things in 1080p instead of what I was doing before. I'm just clearing away some of these flowers so I can got room to work. So um, it, sh it should look a lot better on your screen. A few people were complaining about that. I finally got a new computer. I've got a much better frame rate as well. Uh, so it's not going to be as choppy either. It's not just the resolution. Uh, I think I'm going to throw a torch in here. Not that I really need, I don't need to for mobs. Uh, everything's within 24 of world spawn, so it's uh, it's not critical. I'm just making it um, so that you can see a little better. Okay, so that's got a little bit lit up. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, I'll hold down the space bar, press there. Move a bunch of stuff up. Um, shift. Get it up there just with stacks. And we'll shift up some more flowers. It's just flowers that are up in there right now. Let's get the cotton seeds out of there. We'll shift that up there. Yeah, it's all flowers up there now. And not that I'm going to need this, but uh, I'll plant the apple tree back here just so it's doing something useful. And I'll come out here and plant a couple of uh, trees. Now, something important that I didn't cover off last time because uh, I'd been using my operating system for a long time and it had long since been turned off and I didn't remember I needed to. But uh, I have a new computer now, so I had to turn off sticky keys. Now I'm running Windows 7, so this is how you do it for Windows 7. I went into Control Panel, then I pressed Ease of Act. Oh, you don't have to write all this down, it's in the description for the video. So you go to Control Panel, Ease of Access, then Ease of Access Center, then where it says Make Keyboard Easier to Use, then Set Up Sticky Keys go in and where it says turn on sticky keys when shift is pressed five times uncheck that that's the important one then press apply there's one other thing that you might bump into you might not 
uh, if you go back a page and go set up filter keys go in and find the spot where it says turn on filter keys when right shift is pressed for eight seconds and uncheck that most of the time you're probably going to be using left shift anyways but uh, you might want to get rid of this one as well and press apply okay so now that that's done we can use the twerking mod to get these uh, trees up there so we're going to spam shift and as you can see it's growing the trees for me so our trees are now grown I'm not going to use vein miner yet because I want to make sure that I get some uh, saplings out of this first set of trees I'm not going to worry about it after that but I want to make absolutely sure I get some saplings from the first couple so we'll make ourselves a crafting table make that into a crafting station and then we'll come, I'm going to stick it on indoors, I think, this time around. Stick it there. Uh, make that into sticks. Make the sticks into crooks. Actually, I should, there. Come out here. Hold down the grav key, which is the key above the tab key on your keyboard. That's the default key. And boom. All of them down at once. And we got seven saplings no silkworms yet that's bad all right whoops I was holding the tab key wrong key okay so we've got seven of uh, seven saplings let's plant a few here And we need to twerk again because we don't have our silkworm yet. We'll twerk these up some. Wonder if we've got there yet. Looks good there. There, yep, probably got it. Okay, so we'll use up a brand new one. And we got ourselves three. Good enough. That's what we needed. Three silkworms. Okay, we'll come over here. Out of the way. I've only got seven. That's odd. Okay. Well, we'll plant four of them over here anyways. Actually, that's going to be a little close to the house. Let's plant it there. And we'll twerk these up. Come on. They're all up. Okay. So we're going to take our three silkworms. We're going to plant one there. One there. One there. Come back over here. And we'll plant our three uh, trees up over there. Leave them sit for a second. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. Click to show quests. So we did the random act of kindness. It gave us a diamond in the very beginning. Uh, I guess I'll pick the essence berry bush. One's not going to do very much for you. You need a lot more than that. So it really doesn't matter. Pick whatever you want on this one. Actually, nah, I'm almost tempted to pick the oak sapling because I didn't get very many last time. Okay, that's done. Let's come in here and we need some chests. So we're going to notice I'm using, I'm not using planks here, I'm using actual uh, wood logs. So I get four chests that way instead. And we're going to put them there, 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 there. And we're going to get rid of some of this junk that we uh, don't need on ourselves right now. And then I'm going to make, 
uh, I need to save at least one of those. Okay. These can go in the chest. We're going to make ourselves another crafting table. Crafting station. So now when we click on that, it's accessing the chest that's in between the two, and so is that one for crafting purposes. Now, next thing to show you here is uh, go back to quests. We've got pound... Oh. Actually, let's make the oak barrels first, then we'll go to pound of ground. So we need to get some slabs together. I'll make four barrels. And again, it doesn't matter which one we pick. They're all basics. But we did get some really good stuff out of that. Uh, one of the things is this uh, red heart canister here. It goes up there. If you look at my bar, see where the red hearts are? One of them is going to turn yellow. That means I now have 11 hearts instead of 10. And I have a great crook here. Um, my flux infused crook. Get rid of that. Oh, I didn't open up my basic bag. Lava generators. Junk. They are not worth powering. There are much better solutions for power than those. Even if those are free. Um, okay. So in our quests, the next step up we need uh, the silk. So we're going to go over to crown pound the ground. Right click, sorry, right Shift right click grass or dirt to obtain pebbles. All right, so what we're talking about here is we hold down the shift, we right click, and we get some pebbles. Now I've set up my G15 keyboard to do some of that work for me, so I'm going to hold down shift, press one of the G keys. Whoops. Why are you not working? Oh, because make sure your hand is on an empty one. So hold down uh, shift, press the G key, and it spams it really, really fast for the right click. Too bad it didn't work for the shift. And this doesn't take very long to come up with a whole bunch of stones. We take those stones, we put them in a crafting grid, and we can make them into uh, cobble. All right, so that's probably enough. Oh, I can't even carry it all. Now, if you know some way to... I, th I think there is a way, and I don't know what it is, to shift-click the uh, stones up into, whether it be a vanilla crafting tr table or something else. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure there's a way. And I just don't know it. So put it in the comments if you know of a good way to uh, make these uh, stones into cobble easier. I should have looked it up, but uh, I, I've seen people do it before. I just don't remember how they did it. Not that's going to take very long because I'm probably not going to do this too many more times after that. Oh, and we got more to go. Don't want to leave them lying around or we're going to end up with uh, creating some lag. Not that I need to worry about it nearly as much now as I used to. Okay, so we got lots of cobble. Let's make ourselves a uh, furnace. Oh, still two more. And we'll 
place our furnace right here. And I need at least one of these. And we'll put the one up there. I don't know if there's going to be enough out of a crook to cook this thing. Because now that I got this crook, I don't need the other one. Yes, there was. Okay, let me teach you another trick here. Take our charcoal, put it in a crafting grid, and we get eight mini charcoal. See, normally a charcoal cooks eight things, but if you're only cooking one, you use an entire charcoal to cook the one. This way, when we make it into mini charcoal, and we put it in there, and we grab uh, three stones, it's only going to cook... Uh, did I just put four in there? I think I did. Um, it's going to use, a, as you can see, it's only using up one each. No, there we go, three. How are we doing on a tr this? Looks like it's done, cool. Okay, hold down the grav key, boom. And we can even use it on the wood, this thing on the wood, the crook. Okay, so we got that done. Um, let me show you what I was doing this for just before I make my sieve. I'm starting to run out of food here. So we'll come down here. We have to make one of these later on for a quest, but I want it right away because I don't want to waste my apples. And we've got a juicer. Notice an apple is... Oops. Uh, two, foo two shanks and one and a tiny bit of saturation. But if I come up in here and I pre put my apples in the juicer, it's now going up to two, almost three shanks and six full saturation. Much better food. Okay, and we'll eat some apple juice instead. That'll make my food last a lot longer. Okay, something else I'm, I'm noticing here. I've got the, uh, I've still got the mini map up there. I don't need the mini map right now, not on the island, and it's taking up a lot of screen space. So let me show you how I get rid of that. First off, we'll go into um, options, controls. Now I've already set it, but I'll show you what I set on here. Um, journey map, journey map. There it is. I set switch minimap presets to K. I picked K just because it was beside the J that I normally use to bring it up, just so I'd remember where it was. So when I press J, I go into options, and we go to minimap presets 2, enable minimap, I'm turning that off. Close, and get out of here. Now when I press K, it's off, press K again, it's back on. K off, K on. Now if I wanted to uh, zoom in on the minimap, it was the equals key, that's the default one. Zoom in, zoom out is the minus key. But for right now, I don't need it at all. So off you go, get out of my way. All right, now, um, where are we on our quest? Oh, right, we were going to make ourselves a sieve. So, do we have any sticks? No, we don't have any sticks. We're going to need some more planks. And we put two sticks like that. And these two there, and we've got our oak sieve put our oak sieve over here. Uh, we're going to need some more uh, chests. Actually, whoops. Actually, I want more than that. I want eight of them. And we'll put our chest down like that. 
Okay, so I'll put all the stuff that I get from sifting gravel in the first one, sand in the second one, dust in the third one, and other stuff in the fourth. Okay, so how are we going to go about doing that? Um, actually, let's look at the quest book again. Oh, we've done this one. Uh, pound the ground. They're all basic bags. Doesn't matter which one you pick. We got another heart. And we'll open up our basic bag. Oh, cool. Um, I think that's... I'm going to show you what, what we might be using that for. Interdiction torch. Oh, no, I'm wrong. The interdiction torch. Uh, that recipe changed too. Okay. Never mind, we're not using it for that. That's why I'm redoing this, is so many recipes have changed since uh, when I did it the first time around. All right. Um, so next up on quests. Oh, and we've done this one. This one, it matters which one you pick. So spoiler warning. If you don't want to see which one is the legendary bag, close your eyes now while I select the bag. Once I've selected it, I'll tell you to open them again. So close your eyes now. And you can open them again. And we now have our legendary bag. Damn it. I don't give a... I don't care about those things at all. And I'll put most of this stuff in here. Oh no, I need the gravel. What am I doing? Or the cobble. And we'll come over here. We're gonna take our one diamond, stick it there, grab a couple of sticks, and make ourselves a diamond wand. And we're also going to need um, one, two, three, at least three more of uh, these things, our stone hammers. Okay. Oh, and let's get rid of uh, these trees. I need that spot. So shift that out, or not shift, uh, vein mine that out, that out take out that. Okay, so we are going to place down a bunch of cobble. There we go. And we'll use our wand. And then go. Okay, we take our hammer, we'll use up an entire hammer each time, hold down the grav key, and boom, done. Now we can do that again. Oops. And take the hammer. How much grab? cobble do we have on us? Yeah, we got enough. This time I don't mind if we take out the whole uh, thing because I'll be switching probably to something else next. Um, we still have more? Well, let's use it all up. There, it's all used up. And take our last hammer here, and we'll whip out what's left. There we go. All done. So now we've got a whole bunch of gravel the quick way. Wasn't that easier than uh, trying to place it all a little bit at a time? And we can do the same thing with gravel to make it into sand, into dust, etc. So, well, let's show you that. Okay.
Oh, we're going to need more hammers. <laughs> Glad I saved some uh, cobble. Okay. There we go. That's all sand now. Um, I want to save some of my gravel. I don't want to use it all, so we'll do that one more time. And use up the last of that hammer. Oops. Use up a new hammer. Okay. And then we'll use up all our sand to make dust. Oh, damn. My aim is lousy. Or my timing was lousy, I guess. And we want... We used up all our hammers already? Guess we need more. That and that's the last of our sand. Uh, let's see if this one hammer is going to do the rest of the sand into dust. Yes, it did. Okay, so in between sessions, I'm going to uh, sieve up a bunch of dust and a bunch of gravel and uh, get my stuff, and then we'll move on from there with the rest of it. Notice that I've almost used up that entire diamond wand. They have a... Uh, um, durability. But that covers it for this session. Um, I hope you liked what you saw. Yeah, because the next part is I need the powdered copper ore. And then move on to the other stuff. Hope you liked what you saw. Hope to see you next time. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.